Hi, my name is Ganagay Swaran Arumugam from the research team at IFAS Capital and today I'll be talking about some key sector outlook for the year 2021. Another sector that we continue to be positive on is the global financial sector. In light of a potential vaccine rollout, we foresee the long-awaited rotation to value coming into play next year, with the financial sector taking the lead. Regulators around the globe took several actions to ensure that banks conserve sufficient cash to weather through the economic downturn. Most regulators urge banks in their respective jurisdictions to cut dividends and suspend share buybacks. This was one of the triggers that caused the sharp retracement in financial stocks in March 2020. However, in light of a potential vaccine rollout in the near future, we believe that the likelihood of regulators lifting the dividend bans and share buyback suspensions has increased. We anticipate the return of dividends and share buybacks. Such capital return programs have become an important factor for bank investors over the years, and we believe the resumption of dividend and share buybacks will be a major share price catalyst for the banking industry. A new term catalyst for the sector will be a successful reopening of the global economy. We also anticipate loan loss provisions to ease, which will drive sector earnings moving to the year 2021. Lastly, we also foresee net interest margins to improve as the credit environment improves as banks could start deploying capital into higher yielding assets. Taking all this into account, we foresee the global financial sector earnings to jump by 20% moving to the year 2021. Global financials are currently trading below book value on aggregate. Based on our fair price to book value of 1.1 times, this translates to an end of 2022 upside potential of 13.1%. Investors who would like to gain exposure can consider these funds that have a high weighting in financials at this juncture. To recap, we are positive on the digital economy, the semiconductor sector, the healthcare sector, and the global financial sector. Thank you for watching and happy investing.